Hello, Magic the Gathering friends. I am Refuse Bunny, and I'm here with... I'm Brad, from Fishy's View. And today we're unboxing a couple of more Magic sets. Uh, we enjoyed the unboxing videos we did the other day so much that we thought we'd get some more. And we even got the new Battle for Zendikar intro pack, which comes with two boosters that we can open. We've got the Call of Blood for the Zendikar, and for this Magic Origins pack, it's the Hunting Pack. You'll notice that they're both based in black, as that's my primary colour that I like to use. And what you like to wear for t-shirts as well. Yes. So we'll start with the um, Hunting Pack on the Origins. And let's get this open. I've noticed you have been using a lot of more colour in your t-shirts though, which is cool. Yes, I do. And you've got the really nice Fallout hoodie that you unboxed. Yes, so I could wear that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, for hoodie is really comfortable as well. Okay, so this is the pack, and it comes with two boosters, which is somewhere inside here. Here they are. Oh, as well as this handy guide, which tells you what's in all of the other uh, pre-made decks that they sell. Started decks. Yeah, the starter decks. So I guess we could have a quick look at this. So what's nice in this compared to the Pokemon is that in the Pokemon starter decks you don't actually get the two boosters. Uh, in this you do. Okay. So there's the Brave the Battle, which is quite cool. It's a white green. Oh yes, yeah, I can't, couldn't tell. And then there's Take to the Sky, which looks like white and blue. Demonic Deals, which looks like black and red. Assemble Victory, which is red and blue. And then the Hunting Pack, which is the one that we've unboxed today, which is black and green. Black so, and green is your favourite colours, isn't it? Yeah, they are my favourite colours to play. So we'll start with the, the intro pack, and then we'll open the boosters. Oh, how do you open these? There you go. Cards are slippery. So we've got these rules or rule reminders, rules reference card, which is really useful because often I forget some of the rules and how they work. Yeah, it's nice to just have the reference as well. I can't get it open, so we'll so just go straight into the cards. If you check out the other video, um, I've actually opened it on that one. Okay, so. In each of these packs, you do get a rare. This one is Dwynen Gilt Leaf Dayan, if I said that right. Uh, it's a legendary Elphoria. That's really cool. And yeah, it just looks like a really nice card to play. So, legendary creatures, you can act only actually have one out of each at a time. Oh, I didn't know that. Got Hydras. Oh, Kaylee would like that, wouldn't she? One of our other Geek Mashes. Yeah, she has a whole deck based on Hydras. There's a Thumbo Archer. And then Dwayne's Elite. Some Leaf Gilder. Let's see if I can find. There's some black ones. Debridge Shaman. That's quite nice. Uh, what's this? Ooh. Special Land. Hmm. Mm. Evolving Worlds is really nice, it lets you search for your deck for a certain colour of land. That's really which cool. Is really useful. So with my Angel deck I like to um, use like one colour of like green or maybe red and only have one creature that uses those so that, that can search for your deck like just for that specific card. That's really nice. Mm. Okay, let's try and open these pieces up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we have a nice little card that says Stand Out. And that's either a pair of goggles or a bra, it looks like. <laughs> well, also a zombie token. Let's get the dull one out of the way. Oh yeah, that is a pair of goggles or a bra. <laughs> okay, let's look at the cards. So we've got Bellows Lizard. He looks quite nice. 
And then, oh, we've got a returned centaur, which is nice. I like the art on that. And the idea of a zombie centaur is incredibly frightening to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, lovely leaf gilder. Hello. This one, night snare, which looks cool. Sorcery. Target reveals Stealing his or her hand. That's very cool. It does. Lightning Javelin. Wow. Three damage to target creature, and you can scry one. That's very good. This instant Titanic Growth. That looks very interesting. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Kytheon's Tactics, maybe? Kytheon's Tactics. We'll go with Kytheon's Tactics. Yeah. Which is a sorcery. And Evolving Winds. What? <laughs> Sorry, Evolving Wilds. <laughs> uh, this is a Screeching Scab, which looks really weird, but it looks cool as well. It's another zombie card. Yeah. It's weird for a blue, actually. Well, a blue zombie, that is yeah. weird, isn't it? Ah, yes, and it does library graveyard things. Hmm. This guy looks interesting, Human Soldier. And print at cushion. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Chief of the Foundry, who's an artifact creature and a construct. That looks very cool. Oh, that looks really nice, yeah. You could probably use this to, if you wanted to make an artifact creature construct deck. It kind of looks like a centaur, but it's more like a, a beetle on the back. Like, it's multiple legs. Yeah, that looks really interesting. Looks very cool. Mechanical person. Hey, Totem Guide Heart of Beast. Mm, a library searching card, white, which is very good. Nice for a 2-5. Uh, equipment, Sigil of Valor. Looks kind of interesting. And, oh, this is our rare. The Mana Gorger Hydra, who has Trample. And whenever a player casts a spell, on, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Mana Hydra. Which is quite good. And it's a three cost. Yeah, so you can keep building that up when you're playing. Oh, which is nice. and a lovely forest card. So that's actually um, similar half the card. It's similar to the other one, isn't it? Yes. This is one that uh, we got when Brad did his unboxing video for his blog, Fishy's View. And it's really nice. <laughs> but it's actually the same artwork as well. Just, it is the um, same artwork. Just fuller. Which is really cool. I like that. Okay, pop these off to one side, and then we've got another pack to open, and then we've got another box to open. Okay, what's the token we got? It's... Ooh! A legendary token elemental creature. A Shaya, the Awoken World. That's pretty cool. Yes. That does look nice. Okay, so we have a Guardian Automaton, which is an artifact construct. Oh, you're gaining three life when he dies. Oh, it's like a protective bot for that little kid on the card, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. It's kind of interesting that it gives you life when he dies as well. A fetid imp. Ferret? Is that? Oh no, it's fetid, sorry. <laughs> Who's flying? Oh, he gains death touch until the end of the turn if you pay one mana. One black mana. That looks cool, actually. Oh, Prickleball. He looks very, very mean. He does. Oh, and really he's got. Like he has first strike as well. That's really good. And he's red. Very powerful. It looks like only on your turn you get that. As long as, you're, as it's your turn. Oh, yes. Okay. That's still really useful, though. Yeah, that is. Touch of the Moon Glove. That's very nice. Elvish Visionary. Oh, Draw a oh. card when enters the battlefield. Oh, this one's Read the Bones, a black one, which gives you Scry 2. Oh, and you lose two life. Wow, that's interesting. But you also get to draw two cards. Yes. Rather than um, scrying and seeing what you've got, you actually get to draw them. 
That's cool. And then a uh, blue enchant creature, Stratus Walk. It's like the old um, monkey series. Did you ever watch that? It's um, it's an old legendary story of a like a monkey creature riding a cloud. Hmm, that's interesting. I no, I haven't seen that. Topan Freeblade, who is a human soldier. Looks quite cool. Got a nice white card. Dreadwaters, which is a sorcery. Ooh, target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard where X is the number of lands you control. That, That's that very, very powerful. powerful. And then Akron Jailer. Akron? Akron, yes. Oh, and you get to tap a target creature. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's nice. For a one cost one, as well. Yeah. Shadows of the Past, which is a black enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, scry one. Oh, that's really good. And then you can pay four and a black mana. For each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. And you can only activate it if there's four or more creature cards in your graveyard. That's quite interesting for a two cost. Hmm, but then that the activation cost is quite expensive as well. Uh, Valeron Wardens. Valeron Wardens. Human Monk. Which has a renown too. And then Sigiled Starfish. Nice glowy artwork. As a Velo fish, I agree with this card. <laughs> Thumbs up for the fish. Herald of the Pantheon. Wow. It's a Centaur Shaman. That arm, that is amazing. It is really nice. I don't nice. know if it's picking it up, but it's like he's using his stick and it's uh, creating a void to the stars. That's really nice. It's really cool. And that's the rare as well. That is the rare, yes. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, just a really nice card. And then a uh, blue island, which is basic land, of course. You can never have enough land. Until you have too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, let's open up the other box. The Zendikar one. Okay, so let's start with the Zendikar pack. Zendikar has this new Devoid mechanic, which people have been going crazy for. The Zendikar packs and boosters have been completely sold out, Brad was telling me. Um, yeah, our local shop, Marky Models, and at the supplier, but um, I've checked in our other shop, Free Darps, which uh, does comics as well, and Funkos, and they have them in there. Let's try and get these boosters out before we start cranking up in packs. Okay. So these are the boosters. 15 card booster packs. And again, like in the other uh, box, we have this one that tells you what all the different starter packs you can get are. Okay, so we can have a quick look. Um, so all the starters in each uh, pack, uh, the 60 card deck is the same. Yes. Um, and you also get two boosters. Which, which is, is really, really nice. Uh, so we've got Rallying Cry, which is white and red. Swarming Instinct, which is green and blue. That sounds quite interesting. Call of Blood, which is black and white. And this is this one, isn't it? Yes, this is the Call of Blood. Uh, Eldrazi Assault, which is black and red. And then Zendikar's Rage, whoa, which is green and red. So you'll look very interesting. Pop that to one side and we'll open up the starter deck. If I can. That's one way to do it, I guess. <laughs> oh. So, here's the rare on top, which is very nice. The, wow, very high cost, but vampire creature. Defiant Bloodlord, that looks pretty awesome. It does look good. Just trying. It's a shiny as Holy well. Holy crap, that is such a good ability. Whenever you gain life. 
Target opponent loses that much life. That's very good. No wonder he's so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> if you put that in my in your deck, basically, I would win the game <laughs> straight away. Uh, yeah. Felidar Sovereign. Or Felidar. Cat Beast. It's very nice. I love creatures with lifelink. Yeah, it's a really useful ability. Um, the only thing annoying about magic and Pokemon is the pronunciation of things. You're never sure yeah, absolutely. what their names are called. Stonehaven Medic. I can pronounce that one. <laughs> this one, Hagara Sharpshooter. Oops, I think it's Hagara. Hagra. Hagra. You're a wizard. Like yeah, and then there's this this card, <laughs> Shadow Gilder. Yeah, these all look quite nice. Drainers and so. Hanna Aphrodite, I think the other card was. Oh my god. Can't find it now. Yeah, it's there. Oh no, there's an assassin. There was enough. <laughs> oh no, never mind. <laughs> the Kana assassin. Bloodbond Vampire. These are quite nice. I have these in another deck. Yeah, so that's this card. Or this deck. Looks really nice. Do you have all the lands at Lots the back? Lots of swamp and lands. So sometimes they actually put all the lands throughout the star deck. Sometimes they just put them all at the back. Oh, this instant. Royals Retribution. It deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target or blocking creatures. Which is very cool. And then we have another one of these rules reference cards, which are always very, very useful. So that just tells you the breakdown of... Uh, the actual steps you do. Yes. Okay. Now onto the bit that we all enjoy the most, I think. Oh yeah. The boosters. We enjoyed those pack opening so much from Deck Maniacs we thought we'd, you know, buy some of our own and open them. Okay. So for the first creature, we have an Oracle of Dust. Nice four or five cost mana. Looks pretty cool. There's a lot of Eldrazi cards in this deck as well. There are loads of Eldrazi cards in this. Yes. Um, Calastria Healer. Mm -hmm. It's got Rally. Nice vampire card. A lot of Magic um, fans actually like saying Rally because you're always Rally in allies. <laughs> so like well, Cliffside Lookout. Looks cool. A core scout. Core. <laughs> Coral Helm Guide. Merfolk Scout Ally. It's another fishy. And nice fish. This is the Dominated Drone, which is an Eldrazi drone. Pretty cool. It's got a power I'm not familiar with in jest. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top card of his or her library. Wow. Wow. That is really it's good. It's really, really good. When Dominated Drone enters the battlefield, if you control another colourless creature, each opponent loses two life. And for a free cross uh, keep. That is very powerful. Free cross creature, that. yeah. That's really good. And then Core Castigator. Core Wizard Ally. Can't be blocked by Eldrazi Scions. Or Scions. Tajuru Beastmaster. He has a rally. Boiling Earth. It deals one damage to each creature. Your opponent's control. <laughs> for a two cost, that is pretty OP. And you can awaken it for four to six, plus a red. So if Neil was using that against my Angel deck, like or my um, Soldier deck, those decks specialise in bringing out lots and lots of creatures or tokens. Hmm. So if you use that against me, I'll be pretty much wiped out. That is pretty nice, isn't mm. it? Scour from existence! Exile target permanent. Yes, and it, that doesn't go into the graveyard. Um, mm. Well, the target doesn't. Uh, it actually gets exiled completely from the game. Yeah. Which is both really good and really annoying if you're the person who being, it's being done to. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vela Cut Invoker. Thank you. I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. But, um, wow, if you pay 8, he does 3 damage to target creature or player. Molten Nursery, which is an enchantment. 
It's got the devoid mechanic on it. And whenever you cast a colorless spell, what nursery does one damage to target creature or player. That's quite interesting. That's nice, especially with uh, lots of spells in your deck. Hmm. Murasa Ranger? Yeah. Which has landfall, which is very quite an interesting mechanic, actually, mm. landfall. I actually, I think I would quite like to make a landfall kind of base deck. That would be I cool think that would be quite actually. interesting. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye, which is a flying... Thopter. <laughs> yeah, Thopter. <laughs> uh, ruinous Path. Destroy... That's the rare. Ah, oh, this is the rare, yes. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. And you can awaken it. And then we have a ooh, lovely swamp. That's really nice full art card, isn't it? Yeah, I do like the full art cards. They are really good. They're, they're gorgeous. And then a token dragon. Right. Actually, it's pretty cool. Some really nice cards in that. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, let's see what we get in this pack. I mean, magic cards have always been really nice, like artwork wise and mechanic wise, but they've really upped their game with the Zender card uh, the deck. Yeah, they or have. Zender card set. Um, so, for the first one we have is the Demon's Grasp. Target creature gets minus five, minus five until the end of turn. That's very quite good. Uh, Rush of Ice. Tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its control. Is next untap stage. That's really nice for all cost. Hmm. That's what uh, Blue specialises in. Just ways of making you not attack. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, Stonehaven Medic. It's a life gaining card. A. Oh, this is an interesting one. Ben Benthic. Benthic. Benthic Infiltrator, which is devoid and has that in chest and can't be blocked. It's another Eldrazi drone as well. Wow, that's really good for a free cost. Hmm. Uh, one four as well. Near Kana Assassin. Vampire Assassin Ally. Whenever you gain life, oh, the creature gets a dead touch until the end of the turn. Hmm, that's very nice. It says. Oh, that's just the flavor text that I was reading. Uh, the Vestige of uh, Emrakul. Devoid. This card has no colour. And it's got Trample as well. Which is pretty nice. Quite like creatures with Trample. Yeah, it's a free 4 as well. Um, it's a lower um, lower damage or attack, but um, it just kind of chips away at damage, which is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of Trample nice. creatures are at least like a 7 or 8. Yeah, usually they are, aren't they? Um, this is the Hedron Blade, which actually I quite like the art on this one. Uh, equipped creature gets 1 1, artifact equipment. It's pretty cool. Swell of Growth, instant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh, just a plus 2 plus 2, and that's pretty cool. Oh, and you can put a land down as well. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce this one? Makindi Slide Runner. It's not Mankini, not like uh, oh, okay. <laughs> not like Bora, yeah. it's Mankini. Trample and Landfall. It's very cool. A Vampiric Rites, which is sacrifice a creature and you gain one life and you can draw a card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for that cost, normally you would only draw uh, you would only gain a life, but drawing the card as well is very, very cool. Yeah, that is nice. Yes. Uh, a Hadron Archive, or sorry, Hedron Archive, which is an artifact. You can just add two mana to your pool. If you tap it? Yes, uh, or if you sacrifice, or if you pay two, tap the card and then sacrifice the card, you can draw two cards. You can probably tell that took quite a, while, <laughs> quite a lot for my brain to figure out. <laughs> um, an Eldrazi Breaker of Armies. Oh, blimey. 10 8. Oh. And these an 8 cost. That's pretty good. All creatures able to block Breaker of Armies do so. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So that's pretty good. You can't just take the damage. Like, my Angel deck specialises in gaining as much life as possible. So I would have just taken that damage. Yeah. But that one, you, you have to block with it. That's really good. That's a very nice card. A Woodland Wanderer. Is an elemental creature with vigilance and trample and converge. 
Ah, this is the rare, yes. Full cost, 2-2. Two, two. Woodland Wanderer enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each colour of mana spent to cast it. Now, so this is one of those cards where it wants you to really play with as many mana cards in your deck yeah. as possible. It looks like another kind of group style creature as well, which it is does, a yes. Big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. It does look very nice. And oh, oh, a very fancy full, full length mountain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and a shiny forest. Wow, that is really nice. Yeah, that is. Normally, you only get one extra land in there. And we've got a core ally token, which is cool for this land. Whoa. How nice is that? And it's shiny. Yeah, that is very cool. I'm very impressed with the Zendikar set and with all the other cards that we've opened so far. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Really nice additions to my collection, especially this forest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing. And yeah. we'll have more unboxings for you, hopefully, maybe in the future, and other videos in the meantime. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.